I've hunted a lot of public land over the years, and these are the five key factors that I found when selecting a piece of public ground to hunt. Uh, the first is staying away from hot spots. So that town or that county that's got a reputation for big deer. Uh, everybody's going to flock to those places. The public land nearby is going to be overrun with hunting pressure. So go a county or two over. You're still going to be in a good area most times and you're going to have a lot less hunting pressure to compete with. Uh, on that same note uh, is large population areas, you know, places near a big city. Anytime there's a lot of people, there's more hunters, there's more hunting pressure. Simple as that. Uh, my rule of thumb is stay an hour away from a big city. That way you've got less hunting pressure to compete with. Uh, as far as the sizes of the piece of public land that you look at, I like to go one extreme or the other, really big or really small. Uh, small being usually 50 acres or less. A lot of times those little pieces of public ground are overlooked. Uh, people just disregard them and if you find one that it's left alone, it's like having a little piece of private ground all to yourself. Same goes for big pieces. Uh, you know, even in the eastern half of the country here, there are big pieces of public land out there, 10,000 acre plus, you know, giant chunks of land that you can hike back in as long as you're willing to put the work in. You can get away from the crowd uh, no matter what time of the year it is. Even on a weekend, if you're willing to hike, you can usually get away from people in, in those really, really big chunks of ground. Uh, once you get narrowed down to a piece of public land or a handful of them, you want to call the biologist in that area or the land manager of the you know the parcel that you're looking at those people are going to have you know really invaluable information to the type of deer that are there uh, the type of hunting pressure they see and, and they, there's just a wealth of knowledge there make a list of questions get a hold of those people and they're going to be a big help to you uh, and the last thing is scouting once you get a couple of places picked out uh, you got to get on the ground and scout and, and verify what's there what you're looking at on maps uh, all that just put a little bit of legwork in uh, but if you can do those five things, you should be able to be in a pretty good situation uh, to have some success on public land this fall.